Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrentis Sampson and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we're going to show you some things to help you determine is smart water healthy for you. All right, specifically, we have six different things that you need to consider when it comes to determining if smart water is the water that you're going to use when it comes to improving your overall wellness. Now, before we get started on this, if you have not seen these videos, what you really want to do is hit that subscribe button. And the reason why is because I provide you with different tips, tricks, and tactics that's gonna help you improve your overall wellness. All right, so the very first thing with Smart Water is that it is oxidizing. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of the Smart Water here and kind of talk about what that means, all right? So, just like these bananas that we have here on the table, these are pretty new, right? Well, not that new. <laughs> They're not green, but they are starting to turn yellow. And that is because they are slowly going through a change, right? And so in our bodies, the same thing is happening. In our bodies, to our cells and everything. So we have oxidation that's happening. Free radicals are coming in and they're taking away the electrons from our body, right? And that's creating oxidation and inflammation in the body. And that's linked to every single health disease known to man. So, when I use this tool right here, an ORP meter, I'm looking for a negative number because that means it's going to be, this water is going to be full of antioxidants and it's going to actually um, take back and reduce that oxidation, bring down the inflammation, and essentially be the fount of youth. We want to look and stay looking as good as those bananas right there. So, when I actually put this in, the solution, you can see that yes, this is oxidizing, it is showing a positive 220. Positive means it's oxidizing, which means it's ultimately causing sickness in our body. All right, so the second thing to consider when you're wondering is smart water healthy for you is the alkalinity. Our body needs to stay in a slightly alkaline environment. The foods that we eat should be that way too. If not, if we're consuming things that are acidic, then those things are actually eating the minerals and electrolytes that our body needs to stay healthy, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these pH drops and put a few in the water to show you what color they turn. Now, if you see a red or orange or yellow, this is acidic and it's eating the minerals and electrolytes in your body when you consume it. However, if you see a blue or purple or dark purple, that means that it's alkaline. It's actually gonna help keep your body in balance. I'm going to put these drops in. And as you can see, the smart water is actually acidic, okay? So this is actually not helping us. All the broccoli and all the fruits and vegetables that you're eating, when well, you're washing it down with smart water, it's actually taking those away. And if you're not eating those at all, then it's going to start taking it from you, your skin, your bones, your joints, your ligaments, all kinds of other things that's going to actually make it tougher for you to remain healthy. All right, item number three, when it comes to determining if smart water is truly healthy for you, is the fact that it has a tough time actually hydrating you, okay? I know the name sounds great because it says smart water, but when we actually try to make tea with this water, it pretty much won't be able to do it because most of the water molecules are too big and they're positively charged. So if I go ahead and add some water to this cup here with the tea bag in it, you can see that it barely makes any tea, right? And so when it comes to that, and you're probably thinking like, why is that important? If it can't pass through the bag, the tea bag to actually make tea, how is it gonna actually pass through the walls of your, the walls of all your cells that are linked together and be able to actually provide you the nutrients that you need to push out toxins, to provide the nutrients and all that good jazz, right? So if you look at this, this is barely, and I'm dunking it, like you shouldn't have to jump up and down to get hydrated, right? Your water molecules should be small enough to where they're actually able to pass through your membrane and hydrate you. So with this water right here, same thing is happening, it's regular cold water, it's not anything uh, hot and is able to hydrate, aka pass through the tea bag, much better than smart water. Okay, so just to show you that wasn't a trick, I'll go ahead and pour some more here. 
Now you see, Smart Water just doesn't have it, so it's not really able to hydrate you, and ultimately it's not making us healthy. All right, so number four with Smart Water when it comes to if it's actually healthy for you is exactly what's in it, okay? So just looking at the back of the ingredients, it is vapor distilled water, which means they take water, put it in a container, they boil it, which means they remove everything from the water. Of course, all the bad stuff, but also all the vital natural minerals that you need as well. And then it goes and gets dripped into another container where they're able to um, put it in the bottles and actually ship it out, right? So, vapor distilled water, which means it is completely um, a scavenger and is looking for those minerals. It's trying to bring back balance, right? So it's very acidic. Next up, there is calcium chloride that is added to this and they add different things now. So calcium chloride is being added. That is essentially rock salt, salt that they use to de-ice the roads. So that's added in here. We also have a magnesium chloride, which is another kind of salt that's added to the water. And last but not least, we have potassium bicarbonate, which is an alternative to baking soda. And these things are added in the water to, of course, give it taste, but at the same time, it's a lot of salt in there. So when you be a little thirsty and when you want to, to get some more water, I don't know. But those are the items that are in there. And there's a bonus thing in here. And that is the moment this water is put into this plastic, this thin plastic here, water is a scavenger like you said before. It starts leaching that plastic. It creates a carcinogen known as xenoestrogen, okay? 75% of men and women who have breast cancer end up having too much xenoestrogen in their body. So, not only do you get the three kinds of salts, not only do you get the acidic vapor distilled water, but you get to have some xenoestrogen to go with your beverage. Sounds good, right? It's healthy enough for you? All right, so the items in here and the xenoestrogen were actually two for one. That was a bonus there. So the last one I wanted to share with you is the fact that not only is this water oxidizing, not only is it acidic, not only does it come with all those chemicals and that's vapor distilled, you're paying for it. Like we're paying money for this. So as far as financial health, we're losing on that aspect too. So when you consider all of these things, is smart water really healthy for you? You tell me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. And if you're serious about improving your health and you want water that is actually healthy for you, please connect with me, okay? So subscribe to this YouTube channel or you can find me on LaprentisSampson.com where I have more content on different ways to improve your wellness. Last but not least, you can catch me on Facebook where I have material that's too hot for YouTube and I am on there live regularly. So find a way to connect with me and I would love to chat with you more about ensuring that you get the best water for your health. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.